Oh my gosh, this kind of yes. looks like Titanic. Don't you guys think? Oh my gosh, look. Yeah, boy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm a bit Aww. sick, but today we'll be testing creepy secrets from Sakura School Simulator and also testing out some myths. Since my first video, everyone liked it so much, I decided to make more myths and hacks on Sakura School Simulator that people haven't heard of. And we're gonna uncover the scariest secrets and mysteries in the school. But first, can you like this video and please comment down below Sakura ra, 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 if you see a Sakura flower flowing in the video. Alright, ready? Let's start! First, did you know that you can combine two hairstyles for a girl and also for guys too? I'm gonna show you how immediately. First of all, for the girl character, we need to select this wedding dress and then for the man, we gotta select the ninja outfit over here. Let's get into the game right now! Okay, now that we are in the game and we have both characters standing outside, let's press the menu button over here. Okay, and then let's change into the boy character first. After that, let's do it! And then we press on X and then I've changed into the boy right now. As you can see, I'm the ninja guy. Like hee hee, yes. like Naruto. And then next, I'll walk towards the girl and then I'll press talk. And then I'm gonna press hold hands. Look! Ooh, do 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 do! Okay, this is kinda cute. They're like going down the wedding chapel. And then let's press clone! After that, let's press action. And then ta-da! This is what happens. It's like weird gl glitch. So cool, right? Huh? Two guys and one girl going together. Okay, next let's press talk and then let's press hold hands again. And then clone again. Ta-da! Woohoo! And then after that, let's press action. And then let's go to the menu and change back to the girl. Okay, this looks so cool. And now I'm controlling the other girl, right? We have an extra girl right now and a cloned one too, which is me. And there's another right there. Now that I have an extra girl, now I will go to the girl over here and I'm going to press talk to the girl. And then talk over here and then I'm going to click on find you very attractive. She said, I suggest you to stop joking around, which is me. Now I'm talking to myself, which is so weird. Now press talk and then press this. Now click Click on this and press casual wear. Ta-da! Okay, she's changed outfit right now, right? Into something casual. Now let's press talk again and carry her. Look, this is so weird! I'm carrying myself! This is so funny. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Okay, look at my hair flying. Wow, dude, this is so cool. Yes. The animation of this game is so realistic. It kind of looks like jello floating in the air. Okay, next let's press menu and then let's click on the boy and swap to the boy again. Okay, now that I'm a boy, I'm gonna go towards them and then press talk and carry them. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh my gosh, look at this! Oh my god! Two of us are together! And that's, next, I'm gonna press action and then press menu and let's change back to the girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at my hands. Oh my gosh, I'm like a AFK type of person. I look so weird. I look like a zombie. Oh, I look like a helicopter. <gasps> helicopter, helicopter, huh? helicopter. Spinning around so much, it's so funny. Okay, now let's try and change hair. Let's come over here to the action area, change clothes, press action. And then let's go over here to hair. And press hair and look, there's so many different types of hair. Obviously, gotta okay. watch the ads to unlock them. Uh, Okay, let's click this one first and let's go back to clothes. And then let's click on gym clothes. Okay, something like this. Look, look! Oh my gosh! Aww. Now both of my hairs are stuck together! Oh my gosh, we have a new hairstyle. Ta-da! This is so cool, right? We finally did it. This is a new cool glitch and hack. Now, if you want to change the short hair into the same color, come over here to character edit. And then just click on color and let's click on the purple I'm using. Cool! I have two hairs at the same time. Wee! We're done! Okay, now if you want a different hairstyle, you can just do this. Go back and I click on hair and then let's change to another one. Um, maybe something like this one. Ta-da! Woo! We also changed the different ones. And look, I have like an extra ponytail in the middle. Look, I have three ponytails. I look like a helicopter. I have three ponytails on my hair. We're done for the girl version. Do you know it also works for guys? And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. If you're wanting to dress up a guy, you can combine two hairstyles for a boy. Okay, in order to change the boy's hairstyle, we need this girl to change into this Konoichi ninja girl uh, outfit. Okay, let's go into this outfit and then for the guy, we're gonna have to change the outfit into a police officer outfit like this. Wow. He looks so handsome. He got a pistol and everything. Cool. Okay, okay. This is awesome. This is awesome. This outfit is so cool. It's like those Japanese cool policemen. Okay, let's go back to the game. Whoa, look wow. at the way I'm running. It's so awesome. Okay, did you know that ninjas jump higher than other characters like this? Look, I'm basically flying like a bird. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the guy right now and we're in front of our house. Basically, it's the same step, but I'm going to show you guys still, okay, in case you can't really follow. I'm going to show you step by step so you won't get confused. So, you know how you combine two hairstyles for girl? It's the same for 
the guy. Now let's press talk and let make them hold hands. And next we press clone. Ta-da! Okay, there's like four of us right now. After pressing clone, let's click on action. And then look, we have two girls and one guy this time. Now let's press talk and then press hold hands and press clone. And then ta-da! Now let's press menu and press boy character. Let's change back to the boy. Ta-da! Okay, next let's head over to this guy over here and let's talk to him. Hmm, let me see. Let's click on... We have nice taste. And let's talk to him again. And let's change it to a Yakuza outfit. Okay, click on the Yakuza. Oh no, it's locked. Be right back. I'll watch the ad right now. Two hours later. Okay, now that I've unlocked it, let's use Yakuta. Ta-da! So cool. Okay, let's talk to him one more time. And let's carry him. Ta-da! Oh, this is so funny. Oh my gosh. Two guys. Okay, okay. Now let's click on menu. And then after that, let's change back to the girl character. Okay, now we're run in the girl character. We're gonna have to carry them. Okay, let's walk towards them. And press talk. And then press carry. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, wait a second. Oh my gosh, this kind of yes. looks like Titanic. Don't you guys think? Oh my gosh, look. Wow, it's a Titanic moment. After that, let's press action and then press menu and then press boy. Okay, change that back to the boy. Press X and then ta-da. Okay, we're on the guy right now. Press action and then ta-da. The same thing happens. Look, I'm like a stick again. Whoa, I'm like a scarecrow. Look, just like the girl just now. Helicopter, helicopter. Okay, done. Now let's head over to this wardrobe and let's change our outfits. Press action. And then now that we're here, we're gonna click on hair. Oh man, I still have so many hairs that are locked right now. Which hairstyle should I try, guys? We will try number 22. Be right back. Several months later. Alright, now we're done. Let's click on number 22. Ta-da! Okay, now let's change our clothing to something else. Any clothing you like. It can be anything. Let's change the pajamas. Okay, now they're in the pajamas outfit. Ta-da! Look, I have two hairs. Wow, I kind of look like Sasuke from now. Rudo. Whoa, you can't really see it, guys, but you can. It's definitely more hair. If you want to change the color, you just do the same thing. Over here, character edit, item edit, click on hair color, and then click on any you prefer. Ta da! Wow, I changed the green. It looks so cool. I look so awesome. Okay, if you guys want to use a different hairstyle, the same thing, do it again. Just click on the hair item and let's change it into number one or two or zero. Look, this can be seen better with the hairstyle. Look, 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 look at this one. Oh my gosh, you can change it to whatever you want. Maybe let's try out number 23. Ta-da! Okay, oh my gosh, look at this! Whoa! Okay, definitely look like Sasuke right now with this spiky hair. I look like Goku from Dragon Ball Z as well. These two are awesome. Never seen this hairstyle before. And then maybe I'll change my clothes to like a... Whoa! Like a ninja! Okay, I definitely look like I'm from the Hidden Leaf Village right now. <laughs> Since I kind of look like Sasuke, let me change... Now let's change the hair to dark blue so it looks more like him. And I have to go look for my Sakura right now. Ta-da! Hey, wait, that's kind of funny because this game is called Sakura School Simulator, right? Hmm. I can also change my eye color to something like red. So it suits him. Oh my gosh. This is yes. perfect. Sasuke has those sharing guns, right? So ta-da. This totally suits him. If you want to dress like Sasuke from Naruto, follow this guide. Woohoo! Okay, guys. I hope you guys learned many, many stuff through this tutorial in the beginning. But we're going to show you some other weird, creepy, scary hacks. So make sure you watch to the end. And these are really weird. And some really creepy <laughs> myths that are actually true. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go. Okay. The next mystery I'm going to show you guys is over here at the high school. It's at the Sakura High School. Look, have you ever thought where the former headmaster is? And you know that there's a man that's walking around the school grounds outside, right? Actually, the former headmaster is missing. If you come to Sakura High School, let me show you. You'll find an old man walking around the school. He's in a blue suit and you might think that he's the headmaster. Let's talk to him first. I'll say, um, you look nice. <laughs> Yo, he's happy. He says, thank you. Let's gain his trust a little bit first. Gotta talk to him more and say, hmm, you're very thoughtful. Oh, he says, thank you. <laughs> Let's talk to him some more and say, you're in good shape. I suggest you stop joking around. Oh, he's totally blushing. Okay, now I have to, um, we have to insult him. We have to stop complimenting him. Let's say something like, uh, you're fat. <gasps> he says, I'll sue you. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of my auntie Karen. Okay, let's talk again. I'm just a student. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's, he's really upset right now. Your face is made out of fish cake. <laughs> I have no makeup. What? I have no makeup on? 
one? No way he said that. Okay, let's try one more. Let's say, give me some money. He's like so offended right now. It's totally working. And he's being really rude right now. Okay, now just punch him accidentally like this. Punch him. Boo, 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 boo. Ah, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. He's running away, guys. Now we have to follow him. Make sure he doesn't go away. Okay, quickly follow him and make him stop. Okay, once, oh, why is he running? Like he dashed. Okay, make him stop. And then let's say it again. Uh, insult him and punch him one more time. Keep punching him, but don't unalive him. Punch him until his health is almost gone. And then you stop. Look, mm -hmm. there's an information over here. Oh, it says stay away from the Yakuza. If you click on talk and press information, she says stay away from the Yakuza office. That's so weird, right? I wonder why. He wanted us not to go to the Yakuza office as well, which has never happened in the past. You may think that he's the missing headmaster, but he what? isn't. If you search on the website itself, his name is Daiji Sato and he's the vice principal of Sakura High School. So he's not the head. So therefore, he's not the headmaster. Okay, so who is the headmaster? Is he missing? Okay, now that I'm in school, guys, I'm going to show you. I'm going to dig in deeper into this mystery. Okay, now we have to come over here to get more information. Let's go to the principal's office. Look, you cannot open the doors over here, right? How do I know about this room? If you translate this, a Japanese or Chinese characters into English, it says principal's office. Look, principal room, if you Google translate it. Ta-da! Now that we know that it's translated, for sure, no, this is yes. the principal's room for sure. And it's for sure locked for a reason. It's weird, right? I mean, it's locked and everything. So in order to get in, you have to do this, guys. We need a futon. By doing this, let's go over here and then let's click on furniture and click on futon number one. Ta-da! Okay, now let's close this and then let's sleep and get on. Yeah, this works just like Roblox. We're okay but with a sleeping bag. Okay, now we're done. Ta-da! Now, there are so many secrets in here. This looks so weird, especially the pictures on top of the wall. It does look kind of evil, don't you guys think? Like those bad people with their headquarters and everything. Woo, look at me sitting on a principal's chair. Everyone should listen to me. Anyways, let's get back into a subject. So look at this. There's another four letters. Let's Google translate it and see what it says. It says extremely evil. Oh my gosh, what? It means something is really bad right here and something is brewing for sure. What does that mean? Why does the principal have an extremely evil sign on his room? I mean, is something off? Like, is he working with the Yakuza with big letters as well? Huh? There's also a lot of stuff here and especially these pictures which is something really fishy. Now, let's come check it out and see what's on the pictures. It's kind of blurry, but all the pictures on the left are black and white. The teacher on the right is called Shin Suzu. He's a teacher that teaches here, right? Okay, the next one over here, we'll recognize him, is a teacher called Osama Masuda, okay? As Osamu Masuda, who sits in the teacher's room. Now, we know on the fourth one, this is the Yakuza boss, and he's pretty well known. If you see him in game, you will know. And the fifth one is Momogumi's boss. But the problem is, with the third picture, I can't find any person who looks like this in the whole of Sakura School Simulator or the city. What does this mean? Does it mean it's the missing headmaster? It yes. must be, right? The picture here are colorful and all the ones over here are black and white. Does that mean they're dead or something? Over here sure is. I'm pretty sure this shirt is colorful. Does that mean he's kidnapped or missing or maybe he's still alive? I mean, of course he's still alive, right? Because his picture is too colorful, but I'm not sure. He mm -hmm. must be hidden away somewhere, I think. And then look at these Momogumi's picture over here is also in this office. Maybe the reason why they're only the headmaster is because the headmaster is missing and stuff. I don't know. Hmm. Why are these two pictures of these teachers over here too? Are they undercover spies? Maybe they work together to get rid of the headmaster so they can rule the school. Isn't this a really interesting myth? Okay, guys, make sure you let me know what you think down below. Okay, next we have to go over here. Oh, oh, there's that girl over there. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, we're gonna follow her. Do you know, do you guys know why this girl over here is always broke? She says, I waste a lot of money. I'm always broke. I mean, I'm broke. Her name is Kazue. I'm gonna tell you why. The answer is tax. Well, you can find on the website that over here, it says she can be found being interrogated by a tax officer in the tax office in front of the hospital. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, okay. And the third myth over here is, have you ever wondered why in this restaurant, this girl always says, I think we should break up to this guy. And the guy is saying, give me a million yen or something. It's like he's blackmailing him and she wants to break up. Now that I've surrounded everyone here, I'm going to show you something really different and weird. Guys, look at the way they stand. Look at the way girls stand compared to where the guy stands and this 
last girl over here. Look at this one. This girl wanted to break up with the guy where she's kind of standing like a V shape with her legs widely open. And the girls, like mine, we stand kind of closer with our legs a bit closer and stuff. Almost every girl in this game stands like this, except for this girl. Hmm, maybe she's, she's hiding some sort of secret. Could it be that she's pretending to be a girl this whole time and she's actually a guy and she wants to break up? And as soon as the guy found out, he cheated on her and he also is demanding for a lot of money. After that, Furuka found out about him cheating and then she wants to break up. But he's demanding for money for all the lies she has done for him in the beginning. Okay, this is pretty weird. Okay, guys, let me know what you think about this one. Let's go. Okay, now that we're over here, have you seen Hatsuki? Look, she comes out of her house every day at 7 a.m. in the morning, right? And then she goes to school. But if you have a closer look in her house, she actually has a maid outfit. <gasps> is she secretly a maid of some sort of billionaire? There's a maid dress among all her dresses. I have two possibilities about this, guys. It could be possible that Akina is and Hatsumi and Maitan are siblings and related somehow. Let me show you guys what I think so. It's possible that Akima Meno and Hatsuki Maitani are siblings or somewhat related. If you think they can because their surname doesn't match but that's wrong because if you see here, Akina's surname is Meido, right? This is not her real surname. Well, if you look at this, in Japanese, pronunciation of maid is Meido. Look, it means it stands for Meido. So Meido could be a form for maid. So Meido isn't her surname. They're just called Akina and Haruka by developer. Their surnames aren't even revealed yet. <gasps> so according to me, Hatsuki yes. and Maitani and Akina could be related. As Hatsuki has made clothes and somewhat they have the same color. <gasps> Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. They have different eye colors though. But look at their hair. It's pretty similar, don't you think? It may also not be possible at the same time. Comment down below if you think this theory is true, guys. They're just possibilities according to my logic. So believe what you want. Okay, next guys, we're gonna come over here to the tax office, right? Okay, did you know that there is a Sakura law firm behind the tax office over here? Huh? Oh my gosh, I bet you guys don't know about this, right? Well, over here, although it's in Chinese or Japanese, I've translated into English and it's called Sakura Law Firm. As you can see, tada, this is the direct translation of the words into English. And so therefore, this yes. definitely confirms it. Now let's go back to the game. Okay, isn't this amazing? So many secrets you don't know about. I bet a court could be added into this game in the future in a nearby update. What do you think? Next, we have to come over here. This is the floating cat in the shrine of Sakura City. This is called the cat god. But did you know that the Japanese people have a myth called Roku? It's called uh. Roku Rokubi, which is a type of yokai, which is a monster that looks completely like humans with a little bit of differences. There's a type whose neck stretches and whose head detaches and lies around freely. Ta-da! Just like this photo over here. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. Oh, but did you know that in Japan, these type of things, they see cats as gods, even in Sakura City. This floating cat head could be seen as a god. Yeah, that's right. You can see many temples having cat heads floating around them. And there are many cats in this game as well. And also, this game has a lot of cat features and designs, right? All right, this one was pretty cool, isn't it? I didn't know about this, but this is also kind of creepy. Reading from one to 10, all these myths. What do you think of this myth and this particular secret? All right, guys, next, did you know that if you wear this pregnant woman's outfit, nobody can attack you and you're completely immortal and immune? You will never die. And whoever attacks you will never hit you. Let's try that at the Yakuza place, the scariest place of all, because all these pink suit men are the ones that will be attacking you. Okay, let's try attacking this man over here. Look, look, he's shooting. Like, like what are those? Like bombs or something? Rocket launchers? Oh my gosh, they just killed their own boss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, look, 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 look. Do, 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 do. Let's go to them. See? I'm receiving completely no damage. Wow. All these bazooka shorts are completely missing me. I guess it is true when they say pregnant yes. women are the strongest or something. I'm totally invisible, guys. Maybe I'm carrying like a superior baby or something. Like a Superman hero baby. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Wow. Okay, guys, next, next, next. We're at the Japanese beef cherry cow restaurant right now, okay? It's so cute. This is my first time here though because I'm still pretty new to this game. Okay, I haven't really checked out everything in this game right now, but I definitely will if you guys like this video and I'll do some more exploring and myths because I love doing myths. Look at all these seat guys. So cool, right? Okay, let's check out the second floor right now. Let's go all the way upstairs and see what's going on. Hmm, there are more seats over here, but hmm. I wonder where the kitchen is, right? Hmm, interesting. Well, I'll show you. It's over here. Ta-da! There's something about this chef over here. There's a guy doing some, like, or what is he doing? Omelets or something. He says, I do strength training with a frying pan. Okay, maybe that's why he looks kind of good. He looks pretty strong. Now, let's 
just head over to the other place on the other side. Let's go over here. Where have you not checked out? Uh huh. Okay, the castle. Wow. Now that we're here at the castle, look. Over there is the Japanese castle. Wow. This looks like the one in Tokyo. It looks exactly the same. It's so majestic. Wow. So pretty. I've been so keen to check this place. So let's go all the way inside. I guess there's nobody here, right? So it's the same kind of creepy. And I bet there are a lot of creepy myths and weird secrets inside. Look, there's no one managing this place. I wonder why nobody. Oh my gosh, they're still shooting rockets at me. Oh my gosh. Stop. That is so rude. Oh my god. Whoa, there's a mummy guy. Whoa, they killed the mummy guy as well. Oh my gosh. Stop it, stop it. I'm getting like, harassed. I have to run away. I have to run away. These Yakuza's are crazy. Okay, that's it for today, guys. If you want me to check out more stuff like this in the game and more of Mifsus hacks, let me know in the comment section down below and make sure you like this video. Till then, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.